Welcome back to Trash Pound Off Road, guys. You guys are fans of the channel. You already know about my daughter's X90. In this week's episode, we'll introduce you to my new X90. So I finally went ahead and found one of these things in the formation I wanted it. Four wheel drive, five speed. This one was actually about four hours away um, in a town called Port Angeles, Washington, which yeah, it's 200 plus miles from me. So we got up early this morning at about five o'clock, left the house around six, and it's right around 2.30 now, and we just got home. Um, it's not raining, so I figured I'd take the opportunity to shoot the video. It's dented in a couple of spots here and there. Um, mechanically, though, it's great. Runs like a champ. We drove it all the way back. No issues doing 65 down the highway. So like I said, I just got home. Here's my road snacks. Got to take that in the house. T-tops. It does have these are the covers for the t-tops again it's really dirty uh, needs to be cleaned but these go up here like so and to the t-top and you just twist the little plastic into that little plastic hole right there and it gives you some shade instead of having that t-top blaring down on you all the time seats are in really good shape carpets in okay shape something's wrong with the door seals so it does have a leak that I'm gonna have to address but it is, like all of them, the 1.6 liter, uh, 16 valve, no air conditioning, but power, everything else. The two windows both have issues, which is something that most of these have. So that's nothing really to worry about. Uh, I fixed them on Claire's rig, so not a big deal. Fix them on this rig as well. Inside the trunk here, is some stuff that she, the previous owner left for me. Look at that spare tire. That thing is crazy. It's like five inches wide. I've never seen a factory spare tire from one of these before. Not gonna keep it, not gonna use it. Um, you guys know me, this thing's going up in the air. I don't know when though, because I'm thinking I wanna do something different with this. Uh, a different style of lift than what I've already done with the spacer lift or the body lift or anything like that. Maybe do the junkyard spring lift or save up some money and do uh, something like a old, e old man emu lift springs or something like that. I don't know. We'll have to see. Let me know in the comments if you guys are running that kind of stuff, what you guys think of them. Other things for sure need to be done to it. It's got automatic hubs. Those are going to be switched over. Not a huge fan of those at all. Um, paint's a little scuffed up here. But all in all, great little rig. It cruised down the highway just fine. Didn't have any issues with it. I know I really didn't need another vehicle around here. Um, I got that one. Now I got that one. I got the tin top in the back. I got the trash panda over there on the trailer. And then I have another white one on the other side of it. And then of course my daughter's X90 here. So I think that puts us like five or six of these things running around. But there it is. Uh, stay tuned for the channel, guys. Um, if you're into GeoTracker stuff, obviously you want to see this build move along. Those tires are coming off as well. Those are like a 195, I think. I know I have some 205s or 215s just to make that fill out a little bit better. It is still so stinking small as compared to the Tracker on 33s. So follow along Instagram. I update that thing almost every day trash panda off-road and then of course subscribe to the channel post your comments down below and uh, we'll start building this thing soon thanks a lot for watching guys see you next time